So as most of you know, and because I have been posting, I'm running for State Senate District 31, which covers a range of cities from Harupa Valley, Corona, Paris, Romoland, some parts of Manifee, Myrna Valley, some parts of Riverside. Well, okay, I feel that I need to come out and say a couple things because, you know, people are starting to ask me, are you running as a Democrat? Are you running as a Republican? And I don't feel like I, I, I need to explain myself, but I want to. I feel it, it, it's necessary. So all my life since I turned 18, I registered as a Democrat. And up to 2023, I've been a Democrat. I recently changed to Republican, not because I was going to run. I had no idea I was going to run. Even when I ran for school board, and that's nonpartisan, I just, I was a Democrat. But, you know, 2020, right, COVID year, and it hit us. Well, I became a mom as well in 2019. So I just started, you know, I had time to read up on things, watch the news, such and such. You know, things were being said about Trump and just politics became a, a big topic and it's always been controversial. But I started seeing, I said, wait, am I really a Democrat? I didn't know what a Democrat was. I didn't even know what a Republican was. I just thought I'm a Democrat because I am a Mexican Catholic and, you know, Mexican Catholics are always Democrats. Well, no, <laughs> not exactly. I saw, for example, I'm pro-life democrats aren't and honestly that was like the turn that was that was it for me i said wait i'm not for abortion but i'm i'm, I'm a democrat so in 2020 i started voting republican yeah i'm pretty sure yeah 2020 i started voting republican even though i was still registered as a democrat because i started seeing everything so now um, you know, they're asking me, some people are asking me, oh, so are you raising as a Democrat or Republican? I said, a, a Republican. And the girl straight, this person straight out told me, oh, I won't be voting for you. I was like, and that's okay. You know, I, I respect that. And I can tell you that I am not fully 100% Republican. I am not fully 100% Democrat. And I don't think none of us really are. Like, are we really? And then people will say, well, why don't you run independent? Well, I mean, the big parties are Democrat or Republican. So I said, you know, I lean more towards, okay, Republican, you know, they're more with my values and the family and just, it just seemed the right, the right thing to do, the right choice. I felt it. So I just wanted to come out here and explain that. And I can tell you that no matter what happens, if I make the primary, you know, I'll be in the primary elections. If in March, I I am one of the top two, then I move on to November. Whatever happens, just like the scripture said today, you know, God was calling on, on Samuel. And, and that's what I'm here. I'm saying, God, call me. Please give me the wisdom to hear you, to understand what you want of me. What is my mission? Is it to be in the state senate? and try to really bring back those family values and you know stop the indoctrination and and, and protect our children and, and just our because where are we headed where are we going with all this that is happening in the world and that's really what what i i'm trying because there's so much evil like can i do it alone no but if so many of us just come together and start flipping those seats and really family values come back and common sense people I, i'm pretty sure we can do something so i just wanted to come on here and explain that to you and most of you know me very well and some of you may not have known you know my party preference because that's not something we really ask but i just i needed to come out and say this and whether you vote for me or not I understand. I really do. Because God, if God wants me in that seat, he's going to make it happen. If he doesn't, he wants me for something else. But maybe also he wants me to get this far because there's a reason behind this. There, There's no way I was not going to get the signatures. Like not at all. I was not going to make it. And somehow God worked his magic. Like it's it's a true miracle, the support that I had, and I didn't see it. 
So thank you so much for watching this five minute video. And well, let's go. Let's protect our children. Let's protect our family values. Let's go out and speak to the world. And God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much.